How's it going guys? I'm Andrew Nathan and here is my theory behind Red Velvet's Peekaboo. So to start off, this music video has a creepy, unsettling vibe about it. And that's not just for show. Red Velvet is seen in these red outfits with red crowns. But Wendy is different. And I believe she's the mastermind behind everything. But I'll explain that later. Red Velvet is seen performing some dangerous acts to each other without any care for life. Almost like they can't die anyways. Using an apple as target practice, which doesn't seem out of the ordinary, but when compared with all the other foods in the music video, this symbolizes their non-reliance on food to live. And the scene with the pizza just decorating it with diamonds, they seem to not need to eat for sustenance. Why is that? Maybe because they are ghosts or some sort of supernatural beings, not too sure. Yet somehow the pizza delivery boy does see them. Because Red Velvet can bend and change reality, which I will also explain later. In another scene, Joy is seen crawling towards the pizza french fry house, almost like she's yearning to eat it, but can't. It is also seen in the house that Red Velvet lives in, they display their kills, almost like trophies, in these display cases, hence all the shirts. And it is also on display almost to please someone. At another point, the pizza delivery boy is seen multiple times going back to the house, but it seems like he is in a trance by Red Velvet and can't help but keep going back. The pizza delivery boy can be seen smiling and laughing while being chased by Red Velvet playfully, almost like a game of tag, not fully comprehending what he saw earlier, and completely oblivious to the other delivery boy shirts around him. Now this scene is really confusing, but I do believe it is somehow a part of a ritual. Now this part is what proves my theory that Red Velvet is serving Wendy. First, Sugi grabs the pizza delivery boy by the hand and tries to escape. Then is Joy, then Irene, then Yeti. The only one not seen running away and trying to escape the house with the pizza delivery boy is Wendy. And aside from people joking about Wendy's outfit looking like a pregnant lady's blouse, that outfit was chosen for a reason. She is dressed different from everyone, and she doesn't help the pizza delivery boy escape. Because she is in charge of the girls, like a mother figure. Wendy, alongside the rest of Red Velvet, haunt over this house, all because of Wendy. Even the ending, she sends out Irene to finish the job. When the pizza delivery boy tried to call for help, the number he dials doesn't even exist. Why would he call a number that doesn't exist unless Red Velvet are capable of bending reality to their will? Also, a list of missing delivery boys is seen on the side of the payphone. But why are there so many missing and no one suspecting Red Velvet? The reason being, they don't exist unless they want you to think they exist. That is the only link between the missing delivery boys and Red Velvet. Okay, I'm, I'm not really one for theories, but for this one, I don't know, somehow it came to me. Maybe because it was easy. <laughs> now, I really don't usually do theories on my channel, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Maybe in the future, if anything strikes me like this music video does, then I'll uh, do another in the future. Also, how well do you think my theory is? Let me know what you think about my theory in the comments down below. And let's theorize together, man. But anyways guys, if you really enjoyed this, please give it a like. Also share this with others so they can know the true meaning behind this. It's, it's not a fun music video, okay? This is this is crazy. Red Velvet are dangerous. And also hit that subscribe button for much, much more K-pop content. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong. Wendy did everything. Wendy. Wendy's evil.